Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dave here with Gold Gamers, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Xbox Series X that's having overheating issues. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what we got going on. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have a Xbox Series X, and I did test it out for myself. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. I did test it out for myself, and this console is bringing up an error as soon as you, as soon as it starts to overheat, it brings up an error, say the console is overheating, it shuts off automatically, and once you turn it back on, it brings up a message saying this console has turned down, turned off due to poor ventilation. Now, I did check the fan. That was the first thing I looked at to see if there was anything going on with the fan, and the fan looked like it was in great condition, so... What I'm actually going to do in this video is show you guys how to be able to apply new thermal compound. Now, we're going to be putting Arctic Silver 5 on this processor. The good thing about Xbox Series X's versus the PlayStation 5's is these don't use liquid metal. Liquid metal is a pain to deal with, and I hate applying liquid metal to APU processors like the one that's inside of the PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and we're going to take this one down to the motherboard. If you guys don't know how to take apart the Xbox Series X, you can watch either my disassembly video or watch any disassembly video. I'm going to take it just down straight to the main board, down to the APU, and we're going to apply some thermal compound. And at the same time, we're going to be cleaning it. Now, people always ask me what's the best things to clean stuff with. Toothbrush and right here. Clorox wipes. Also, I have a air compressor over here. You can use a can of compressed air if you don't have an air compressor to be able to dust out everything and clean out everything because also a lot of dust builds up inside the heat sinks, which also stop the airflow from going to the processor. So that's another thing that could cause overheating. So I'm gonna get rid of my main cam right here. So I had to hide that. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take this down to the motherboard. So let's get this taken apart. All right, so we have it all the way down to the main motherboard now. <clears throat> and I will show you what the main board looks like. This is obviously the main board right here. There is two boards inside of the Xbox Series X. This is going to be your main board with your APU processor on it, which is right here. This is thermal compound, all this gray gunk around it. That is what it is. So this is what it looks like. Has your HDMI port on here, your expansion bay on here, and we have your heat sink right here. Um, it's always best and good practices anytime you go inside of here to always clean inside of here. If you can't see through this heat sink, like how we can see through it right now, is is probably dirty. And you want to make sure you're getting proper airflow through this heat sink. If you are not getting proper airflow through this heat sink, that could be very problematic for your game console. Also, another tip while working in here as well, these are your RAM chips. So you want to make sure all of your RAM chips still have all of their thermal pads in place. So always make sure these... Every, Always, always, always make sure when you put these things back together that these thermal pads are back in place or you could also possibly blow out a, um, a, a RAM chip. <clears throat> and if not, you could buy these thermal pads off of Amazon or eBay. Now with the Arctic Silver 5, let me go on ahead and grab that for you guys. So typically I would, uh, I would usually apply thermal compound onto any motherboard with gloves. Um, I just ran out of gloves, so we're gonna have to do it bare hand, which is fine, but I will always recommend doing this with gloves just because once you're done, 
it would just be easier just to completely just take off the gloves but I'm fine with just washing my hands after so what we're going to do is as you can see we have our Arctic Silver 5 right here and then I have a old card that we're going to use to apply it onto the chip but first let's go ahead and try to clean off to the best of our ability this old gunk so I'm just going to take this Clorox wipe wipe around it be careful when wiping where you don't break one of these chips so clean that also clean the thermal old thermal compound off the heat sink all right so with this now what i'll do is i'll take my toothbrush i'll take some 99 percent ipa and i'll show you right here what that looks like it's just alcohol it doesn't need to be 99 percent. it's just what i have because it's some of my favorite stuff to use i'm going to dip my toothbrush inside of that kind of wipe off the toothbrush just to excess off of the towel and just go in just like this back and forth just making sure I could get as much off of here as possible. All right, as you can see, wasn't able to get 100% of it off, but to be quite honest, this is actually good enough. Um, so we can actually take our thermal compound and apply it to the heat sink and also the chip so i want to make sure you guys know i know there's guys out there that will tell you in other youtube videos now i just want to let you know my background i've been doing this i've been doing repairs for 14 15 years now um if you put too much thermal compound on this on any motherboard now i'm not saying specifically xbox series but i've seen people do this all the time with xbox 360s you can still overheat it with too much thermal compound i know there's people that will tell you that oh you can't do it i've seen it happen before multiple times with people applying their own thermal compound so do it as so i kind of just go around in a square put one drop in the middle like that just real real soft like as you can see, I'm hardly squeezing on it. Go around in that square. This one right here, I'm gonna go across just a little bit. As you can see, I barely pressed on it. And don't worry, if you do put too much on it, it's not a problem. All you need to do is just take a Clorox wipe and wipe off the excess. I kind of think of it as putting icing on a cake. Because look why. So we're spreading icing on the cake. And it's supposed to be perfect. Not too much, not too little. See how I'm swiping it. Then I'm going to go over here to the heat sink. Come back right here, make sure it's, as you can see, it's fully covered, but it's not too much. It's not too much where it's just drowned out. It's enough where I could go across it and a bunch of it just doesn't come fall it over. So I'm gonna put my cart back in my back. And now the next thing we're gonna do is put the whole console back together and turn it on and let it sit for a while and see if it actually works. All right, so we have our Xbox Series X put all the way back together. We applied new thermal compound. We cleaned everything out, air dusted all of it out. Clorox wiped everything down. Everything is, it looks to be in great condition. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the game console, allow it to be able to sit on for at least 10 minutes or so just to make sure it can stay on. It doesn't heat up. The fan doesn't kick on high or anything like that. And if it does successfully stay on, 
then that means the Arctic Silver 5 thermal compound that we applied on the APU processor has successfully repaired that issue. So let's go over to the screen and see what we can do. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. So I did let it allow it to sit on for 10 minutes, never overheat it, fan didn't kick on high. Everything works just fine now on this Xbox Series X. If you are still having any further issues, please let me know down in the comments below or if you need any help. You can either ship in your game console to us or just shoot us a call and we can try to help troubleshoot your issue to make sure your problem is resolved. But besides that, I hope to see you guys on the next video and I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.